Hello everyone, Karibu. The following diseases have a time limit. If you react too late, they may lead to death or even permanent disability. Ever heard of people just falling dead out of nowhere? One of these diseases could be the cause of these sudden deaths. We will leave out the most common viruses of the world out of these topics and we will deal with them on another clip. Number one, stroke. This simply means when the blood supply of the brain is interrupted or reduced, preventing brain tissue from getting oxygen and nutrition. A stroke is mostly or most likely deadly if it hits the basilaris region. This is a part of the brain which may be affected by a basilaris thrombosis. If untreated, the mortality rate now, shortly, mortality means death rate. The mortality rate gets up to 80%. Also, a dissection of the brain supplying vessels could be as much as deadly. If the stroke leads to swallowing or breathing problems, or even if not treated, sooner or later, it may be destructive. Open your eyes for such symptoms. Alzheimer's dementia most common form of dementia, memory loss or other cognitive disabilities serious enough to interfere with the daily life. Why is Alzheimer's deadly? Well, if this disease is not treated and the patients are not cared for because of lack of information or people who don't know how to deal with this, they think, ah, we am a cheesy and that's all. These people may die because of malnutrition continuous neurological damage or bacterial infections. Eventually, patients are unable to walk or communicate. They cannot maintain control of their bladder or bowels. They cannot feed themselves or swallow food without assistance. Some of them are older patients and because of the lack of facilities and the lack of possibilities of helping such patients, they may end up dying. That's why Alzheimer's is one of the deadliest diseases in the world. Also, one of the reasons why this disease is so deadly is because we haven't found a therapy which is able to reduce the speed of the development of this disease. Heart attacks, when blood flow to the heart is blocked, especially when you look at an ECG and you see a particular change called the ST elevation of myocardial infarction, usually seen in an ECG which you remember in one of our clips should be done within 10 minutes after arrival in the emergency unit. If not treated within 120 minutes in a catheter lab, it may end up to rupture of the heart's walls and even to death. Time is muscle. That's what we have to know. The more you wait, the more muscles are destroyed. Well, if the ECG is all right, but the troponin levels are too high, then you may only have a couple of 72 hours to react because nowadays we know too much and we have so many possibilities. But because of lack of hospital facilities, some people have to drive from the rural area 400 or 300 kilometers to get their treatment. This is crazy. This has to change. But still, until then, we have to be careful and take care of our blood pressure and nutrition so that we eat, eat healthy and do a lot of physical activities. Other rare diseases which can cause sudden death are aneurysms. Aneurysms can occur anywhere in any blood vessel which leads to the heart in our body. An aneurysm is an enlargement of the artery one of the most important aneurysms we have to know of is the enlargement of the main artery. The artery, a blood vessel, which mostly carries away blood from the heart. If the diameter of the main artery goes over 5.5 centimeters, it threatens to burst. Just a blow in your stomach or an accident, a car accident, or just high blood pressure can cause it to blast. Now, when this main vessel bursts, you have no time. Within a few hours, this patient could be dead. 
Now, due to the bad facilities and the lack of hospitals which can offer treatment for such patients, some of them who have to drive 100 kilometers or, or, or ambulances which have to drive long distances, it is almost impo impossible to stop a bleeding from an aortic aneurysm. Another aneurysm is the intracranial or the cerebral aneurysm. This is a brain aneurysm which expands and the blood vessels wall becomes so thin for example, due to high blood pressure, it can become so thin that due to high blood pressure, it ruptures and bleeds in the space around the brain, especially at the base of the brain. Patients describe the worst headache they have ever had, which led to neurological symptoms. If someone or, or one of your first degree relatives had it, then you really need to be checked out because we have seen that cerebral aneurysms they also occur in families. Now, the most important thing for you is to know that your high blood pressure has to be kept well. An aortic dissection. This is a tear in the inner layer of the main artery. Blood penetrates into the vessel wall and splits it open mostly sudden onset of severe chest or upper back pains sometimes even stomach pains or all of a sudden you have a low blood pressure when such symptoms occurs and we are talking about really heavy and and unknown pains like you have never had before then you only have a few hours the problem is with aortic dissection it can block the nutrition or, or the blood flow to your brain it can block the blood flow to your arms or to other major organs in your body and it can be very deadly if not treated within hours due to high blood pressure or genetic diseases like Marfan or Ella Danlos syndrome one can also be predestined to get an aortic dissection another disease like pulmonary embolism sudden breathing problems and chest pains after long flights or after traveling long distances or having surgeries on major joints or parts of your body even cancer patients tend to get pulmonary embolisms what happens is your lung oxygen levels they decrease to an extent where you cannot breathe anymore even your right the right side of your heart begins to, 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 to suffer under the enormous pressure which is caused by this pulmonary embolism. This is a thrombosis which um, blocks the main pulmonary artery which connects your lungs with your hearts. If you have traveled long distance and you have all of a sudden breathing issues or you have measured low oxygen levels through your pulse oximeter, then you should go and see a doctor. Well, the good and the bad news is it depends on how much is affected before your time level is reduced. But what we know is that the more the symptoms, the more, the more dangerous a pulmonary embolism can be and can lead even to sudden death. Most people just don't wake up the next morning. Our next video is going to explain the most dangerous cancers in the world. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe our YouTube channel. For more information, visit our website on www.tokis-advice.com. We encourage you not to be fearful and not to think that we are creating these videos so that we can create fear. But instead, we want to educate and we want to help people to react much faster to get medical help so that this life expectancy can rise. I don't know who my grandparents are. They died. No one knows what of. I would like the next generation to have the grandparents with them happy and be able to play with them. That's our vision. This is what Doc is there for. We are helping, educating and advising. Follow us and join us and we are happy about any feedbacks which come from you. Just write, a, write us a message. If any disease is missing, call us, write us a message. Let us know so that we can prepare for the next video for you and for your family. Bye-bye.